Bhagavad Gita, verse 2.59. He who identifies himself with his body may restrict his enjoyment by withdrawing the senses from their objects, but his taste for sense pleasure remains. One whose intelligence is fixed, however, has realized Paramatma, therefore his taste for sense objects automatically ceases. Tsar Ardhavarshini If one raises a doubt that even foolish or less intelligent persons may become detached from the objects of their senses, by fasting or through sickness, Sri Bhagavan answers in this verse beginning with Vishayaha. The word Rasa Varjam implies that such persons do not become free from the desire for sense objects. Rather, their taste for sense object persists. Yet, one who is of fixed intelligence ceases to desire sense objects because he has direct realization of Paramatma. There is no flaw in this definition. Those who are able to realize the self are perfect souls or siddhas. They are not practitioners or sadakas. Sar Ardhavarshini Prakashikariti Sometimes an ordinary person restricts his senses because of disease or because he is practicing hatha yoga and fasting. Still, the desire to enjoy the sense object remains in his heart. It is impossible to eliminate this desire without devotion to Sri Bhagavan. In this regard, Srila Bhaktunod Thakur writes as follows. The practice of ceasing to indulge in the objects of the senses through the process of fasting from them is only for extremely unintelligent people. This practice is followed by those who identify the self with the body. The Eightfold Yoga system, known as Astanga Yoga, also provides an opportunity for those who are less intelligent to become renounced from sense objects by engaging in the practices of Yama and Niyama, regulative principles, asana, postures, pranayama, breathing exercises, and pratyahara, sense control. This process is not acceptable for one who is stita, bragya, fixed in the absolute truth. After directly seeing the beauty of the supreme truth, Sri Bhagavan, one who is stita bragya, becomes attracted to him and gives up all attachment to ordinary sense objects. There is provision for extremely unintelligent persons to withdraw their senses from sense objects by the process of fasting, yet the jivas cannot attain their eternal auspiciousness without the process of spontaneous devotion, or raga marga. When a person comes to the platform of raga or attachment to Krishna, he has realization of a sense object that is superior to all others, and thus he naturally gives up inferior pleasures.